think that's that's a pretty good thing. But aside I from mean, that, I don't know. But isn't X isn't X going to be matched up against the Brood? Against the Brood Probably. I, I mean, maybe they want to put E in. I, I I don't know. The Lone Druid. What are his strengths? He's good at pushing. He's tanky. He can split push if he gets Radiance. Or actually, I guess he can split push Ax now. Um, he he's really Roche. good at sieging towers. He's yeah. good at taking Roche. What else? That I mean. That's a lot, a lot of things that lane. he's good at. Yeah, but I mean, the, none of the, like he doesn't really need space, though, which is why, like, because he's so good in his lane that Broodmother is. It's not counterintuitive. It's just they overlap in a lot of their strengths. They push. They can split push. They're good in lane. Yeah, they're good in lane, and yeah. they don't. I mean, they both the lone druid scales pretty well. We actually saw a brood that just wrecked face even towards the late game the other day, yeah. but. That seems fairly unusual. Cool. Oh, we'll move into a short pause here to get this game started. A lot of question marks running this Cloud9 I, I draft. Mean, I mean, to me, the biggest question mark is, like, what is what is the plan with the snowball? Like like Ben brought up earlier. Wait, who's playing it? Uh, it's Big Daddy is on the it top. Just, maybe it's to rescue people when they get called is the main idea? Maybe, but I mean... But normally when you see Tusk, it's like you the rescue is nice, but you really want them just for that initiation from yeah. the snowball. Because if, if they all clump up, they can just get three-man call, they can get Vicious Burst done, they all get owned by Pugna, Blast, uh, Drow, Gust. Like, there's so many things that you don't want to group up for snowball for, which is why I'm curious to see why, why they picked it up so early. Maybe he's wanting to play it, have some fun. My Little snowstorm Tusky. has returned. I'm going to lose the producer for this game. It's, it's Tusk, dude. It's Tusk, dude. He's invading my headset. It's rough. All right, here we go. Our, oh, okay, never mind. Thought we were ready. Cloud9 having a couple sound issues here. Looks like we're all having sound issues. That's good. Oh, I'm glad Pugna is getting some love, though. I feel like Pugna I love, is just. I, been, I love Pugna. He's just Sinner been buffed. And always buffed. makes fun of me for it. I like him because he's high risk, high reward. But yeah. He's squishy as hell. He likes to yeah. fight early. He likes to take the just take aggression towards the enemy team. He's been buffed like nothing, nothing but buffed to, like six times in a row or something. It's been a long time since he's Plus been he's remotely just badass, nerfed. Dude. He's like this little midget skeleton, but he's got that cool cape going on. You know. He reminds want, me a lot does of. Does he have the immortal? Uh, nope. Oh. No, I don't think so. Mm. But he can definitely afford it. That's not the immortal, right? <laughs> no, I don't think no, so. Okay. It's, it's a ward. I haven't, I haven't actually, I haven't seen it yet. It looks like Vici may consider aggro try here. Axe in the safe lane. So they are trying to anticipate the off lane brood. So Axe can get the matchup that he wants. And it looks like it may be successful. LD headed to the top. No, I'm right here, dude. Oh. Maybe that's why they picked it. They knew you were casting. Is it going to be Drow mid? He looked like he was heading around the mid. I, I don't think so. Pugna really needs levels. So I've seen him run in a tri lane a lot, especially by Alliance, but we'll see. TBD. Maybe they want to see the matchup first. If it is a Pugna mid, what do you think about the Rubik, Dro, Visage, Aggro try? I mean, it's three range with the Drow. Aura. Very scary. They yeah. are a bit squishy, but at the same time, tri lane against Keep Kill the Light the can be hard. I wonder if he's going to lift it. Panda's in trouble. Yeah, there's your telekinesis. They pull it back. They'll get it down to about half health. One bit of damage on. Ooh, no stout. That yeah, is the bolt. Uh, I was like, oh, oof. That's why he's taking so much damage. Man, uh, I saw. I, one time I watched this lone druid player who had a stout on his hero the whole entire game instead of his bear. And well played. It, it was It was sad. His bear kept dying. He's probably like, why did my bear keep dying? <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> Okay, so Ice 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 will go safe lane. It looks like Cloud9, uh, a 2 1 2 coming out, perhaps. He just doesn't care. He's like, I'm going to take this bounty rune in. You're not stopping me. And with the call, they'll get the double bounty rune, and nice. he walks away. It's worth it. He didn't take too much damage there. That's You get half a level, dude. Yeah, that's incredible. Call is really good this oh, game. Oh, so it will be how in mid. I, I don't. This mm. is quite the audible. It looked like they were setting up for it before, but I think most teams would run Pugna mid. Just because Pugna can just seize your tower constantly, Beastmaster can't do that much about it. And also, Pugna has a lot better room control. But uh, Howe will be able to secure a lot of farms and levels, and it will help out his tri lane because he will get a lot more agility they, in levels they, and positions. They also blocked the pull camp, which means if they if they pull the wave and get a double wave going, oh, hold that. Wow. He's in a lot of trouble already. Huge damage. It's a first blood. FY draws it again. Big Daddy wrapping around the backside though. EE taking big burst damage. Are they going to get two out of this? EE, he may live, but now it's Big Daddy on the run. 
The bear doing what little he can. Two low health heroes, and they'll live. Just a one for nil, but BG that was a strike really, early. really sick lift by FY. He like lifted him. He anticipated where he was going to be and lifted him in a terrible, terrible position for him to be caught out. And now he has to have less than ideal illuminates. Yeah, that was a pretty good one, but um. Boy, still gets hit. They, they blocked the camp as well, which means if C9 doesn't deward this, they can go for a pull a bit later with the first catapult, and then they have a double wave or like one and a half waves going wow. in. Wow, what an illuminate. With all three. three as well. That's beautiful. Ice shards almost knock off the solve, but yeah, FY will keep it. This illuminate seems like it's the, the main tool they're going to have against the pressure. Envy still doesn't have a single last hit, though. At the very least, they're doing a good job keeping the bear off the creep wave. And like, like we talked about, this is a hero you want to dominate the lane, not just sit back and trade. Or... Did Brood go for Spider? Oh, hold that thought right now. And now it's Envy that's in trouble. Damage coming his way as Ice 3 throws out a pause. The lot does not approve. I love having the Russian caster so nearby. Ice 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 is hungry. Wants this kill. What, what, did, what did skill build did Brood go for? Okay, you went Broodlings. You'll see some go uh, Bite versus Axes. It's curious. So does Envy die here? I think they have the damage. Oh yeah, it's a dead Druid. This time Super gets credit for the kill. Are we sure that wasn't a psychological pause there? Let him <laughs> rue his last moments on that life. You can never be sure, LD. Bata gets a regen. <laughs> Vlad's still laughing. I don't know about why. <laughs> He's cackling. I, I, I think he thinks that Ice 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 was uh, trying to rub it in a little bit. It's possible. That's Beastmaster is starting to dominate that mid lane, though. It's going ahead against the Dro. I guess a slightly difficult uh, lane for the Dro Ranger, at least early on. It is. Beastmaster has really huge base damage. And he has a sick attack animation. And he's two and a half. <laughs> three heroes, basically, with these two fours early on. Good news is they have the Axe versus Broodmother matchup. This is something they can look to farm a lot on Ice Ice Ice, and Bone can't really pressure him directly. Uh, at best, they're just going to be trading farm here, it looks like. Oh, level 2 Gust. Hmm. That's... You usually see a Frost Arrow is very early, so he can harass him in lane, but he's yeah. going... Uh... A more defensive build, it feels like. Yeah. Did he, is he saving a skill point? He... No, he has one point in uh, okay. stats. Nice. Easy stats. Aggro tries, still going pretty well here. Pugna farming nicely. Lone Druid still getting nothing. Envy has one last hit right now at three minutes. Maybe he'll get a couple here under the tower, but this aggro try seems more than accessible for Beachy so far. Super's getting decent CS. Yeah, what, is, what does Tusk do here? I'm still, I'm could, still could struggling to comprehend mid. it. I feel like that's the main lane that can be pressured. Well, they did manage to deward at least one of the sentries. But not the observer, and they're going to try to gank the bear now. Beach with the gravestone coming out. Might have the damage. Oh, this is really bad. He doesn't have it for 80 seconds. 300 oh. gold for Fenrir. And experience. And the experience, yeah. And they're aggressive tri lighting. That is gigantic for Beach. Well, at some point, Fado's going to try and take over this lane, though. It's Nighttime's right about to hit. Let's see what rune he gets. This could be the lane changer. Hoping for something aggressive here. It's a bad Oh, yeah, that's a good one. And an illusion down bottom. Yeah, not the runes he wanted. Musari. Oh, look at this from FY. He's going to eat through the trees. Still gets hit by the Illuminate. I like the thought process, but not happening. He looked like he was close to going for that lift drop back. Yeah. And dive. Cool idea. I'm surprised they didn't put a ward behind the tower uh, since they're playing so aggressively. Maybe they could get it off. They have so. one. Is, I think it's blocking yeah. the pull camp there, or is this? No, it's just for vision. They, okay. they, they, ideally, you want it under the tower so you can see exactly where Caudal is and then keep lifting it. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Snowball in on two. Illuminate connects on two as well. Fenrir very low, but they drop Big Addy in a matter of seconds. Wow. Fenrir wow. barely oh, lives. Super. Oh, the plays. Nice. Oh, my gosh. It's only a one for nil, but Vici making it happen. Super with the plays. That was so impressive. And Rear just limps away. Looks like he'll just suicide to the neutrals here. Spends his money. Already spent his gold. Yeah, he's Nicely a good shape. Done. And meanwhile, you've got an Axe versus Brood. That's just not a matchup Brood can win. It's at best you just trade and... He can win it with without the Spiderlings. It looks yeah, like the... But, I mean... Brood's doing okay. 17 last hits. Then you're a Brood with no Spiderlings in the mid game. You yeah, have to you really a, dominate you the You get lane. a lot of levels, though. I think, like, at 8, you can start transitioning into it. 
It's not that bad. I've seen Padrino do it. But this build just feels... I mean, he just finds the spider like... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I mean... You There's know, like... This is, a, this is a really bad scenario, though. At least with the incapacitating bite, you can't feed the axe. Yeah. This, look at his CS. He has 50, and Brutalings give a lot of experience in gold, so... Yeah, I mean, compare those to Treants. It's just like... Buckets of gold. Look at this Axe's farm. He's he can have like a seven minute blink dagger if this keeps and up. Again, they have three, wow. potentially four melee heroes, depending on what form the lone druid's in, and you can call the bear. Yeah. Keeper needs some really armor. Good axe. Keeper only has one armor right now. Usually you'll see a ring of protection there for Tranquil, but all he has is a mango. Yeah, Visage just hits him for like a fifth of his HP, and Visage is not that strong. I mean, with precision armor, yeah, but. What? Oh. All these little traps that Vici gave me, like, from, like, they come from the south through the trees, from the north they're trying to sneak their way in. Hello, it's me, Fenrir. The wraparound, Misery in some trouble, it's that an Trowara easy pick is, off. This, this is, the early stats are really showing themselves now, yeah. plus 35 damage. Now you you can definitely agree, uh, like, agree that the, this was the right choice for Vici. It felt like Vici knew in. once Drow gets six, we, even if we're not dominate already, we can start to take over it. Then on top of that, they get those early kills. This is, is... How do you turn this around? Cloud9, they have some deep push, but once Axe gets a blink, you, you only have really nice snowball. You don't let it die again. Oh, they can't protect it. I don't think it can live here. Soul Assumption is too much. It's another okay. kill down hey. for a minute. Go jungle with the lone druid. Go keep the lane alive with Cuddle. I think probably the best choice. I mean, right now, Tusk is only level 2. Lowest level on Vici is 4, and that's the Visage. Right now, I feel like this Tusk is just... Kind of a non-factor. There's just not much Big Daddy can do. I, it, it seems like it's going to be all on Fada on the Beastmaster. If he can make some huge plays, maybe he can start turning this game around. But Brood's not going to win bottom. They clearly can't win top. They need someone to come in and kill this Drow Ranger. I always actually say Drow Ranger is a very weak point in this draft, but he's been having the time of his life as mid. Been catching up in CS. EE doesn't have bear for another 30 seconds. I like this build that uh, Hal went for as well. It's the triple rate band on Drogue. Gives him some nice stats, but also just helps buff up his team in the early phase like this to get that little bit of extra damage. 169 damage. Yeah, very nice. And <laughs> he's one look at all that delicious gold. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. He wants it so bad. His dreams are coming reality here. About 100 gold off the blink dagger. I mean, he's the thing is, like, higher Brood, Brood, on CS. Brood cuts the wave, and then Axe just tanks the wave, so you yeah. don't actually ever press You're supposed to be able to out-economize him, though. You're supposed to be able to take the jungle as well as skip the creep. Yeah. So, but he just got too many spider lanes, it yeah. felt like. He, he really did. The bear again, telekinesis, but they have the damage this time. It doesn't seem like an ice shards. They fly over, but EE -E just gets dropped in a matter of seconds. Now the snowball on the FY, still trapped inside of the ice shards. But where's the damage coming from? The Coddle just gets obliterated. Now Ice 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 showing off the blink dagger on two. Big Daddy gets chopped. Fada in trouble. Ruben even denied, denied by, by the neutrals. Oh, it just keeps getting worse for Cloud9. It'll oh end as a God. one for four, a half for four. Jeez, that's has, what a disaster. That's one I don't of the even most demoralizing see, fights. I don't even <laughs> want to see the graphs after this. Oh, my, my, my. Sick Eight rotation minutes. by Ice Ice Ice. That was really nice. Wow. Honestly, they didn't even need him. Like, they'd already traded evenly, even if the rest of the heroes died. That was just brutal. I mean, for me, it was how fast that Coddle died that just summarized that fight. He just got two shot. Just fell apart. He was literally at half health. He took a soul assumption and one auto attack, and he died. Whew. Bone, he's getting some decent farm relative to the rest of his team. He's got his Midas. Is that enough, though? Berserker's call? No, nope. gonna save it for now. The okay. dance for the tower kill. Bone 7, not interested in partying. 7,500 net worth. The almost, lead for VG in 9 minutes. Almost 1,000 gold per minute advantage being gained right now. That's a benchmark for ownage. Yeah, absolutely. Not quite, but I'm... Also, their lineup, I feel like, I, I don't know, they, it almost feels like they have to be ahead, to be honest. There's not really as much obvious synergy as what Vici have. Yeah, I think Bone should be able to get this tower kill down bottom. It's very close to deny range. Glick comes out in the mid. <laughs> and they stole the bear. They're going to look to push now. They've got Pug now, they've got Drow R, they've got a tank for the towers, they have the Blink Axe. Now, does the bear stick around if he steals a new spell? I believe it dies. It should die. I hope it dies. If not, that's insane. I think it sticks around. Really? Really? That's, a, that's a great steal, though. Not hey, one you see very not. often. I, I actually don't know. Big I, plays from Now FY. that you've said that, I'm questioning myself. I'm just not sure. It's so rare you see a Rubik steal the bear summon. Well, even just having one bear is ridiculous. Like, look at this. They're going to take the tier 2 mid. 
They aren't even with their axe. Axe is just off of the jungle right now, and there's nothing Cloud9 can do about it. Yeah, oh. absolutely. Oh, nice bear on bear action. Uh oh. Oh, they're gonna kill it again! They're just fighting this bear. It's almost more valuable than hero kills at this point. 300 How gold. It's on cooldown for two minutes! That's, is that three or four bear kills now? I think at least three. three. I've lost track, yeah. Oh, Bone 7 caught by Ice Ice Ice. Doesn't have the RNG on the spins. Won't be able to get him into Culling Blade Threshold. But he does have a Sentry Ward. They see him in the tree line. And meanwhile, Visage uh, into the Roche Pit, it looks like. With the yep. Drought. With the Medallion as well. <laughs> Easy. BG Gaming just feels like they have Cloud9 completely figured out this series. Every move is oh. working. Now another dunk. Ice 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 taking down the Brood. And they will take the Roche. Cloud9. They are in big trouble here. Look at that net worth chart. You've got four of the Michi heroes floating towards the top. And even Rubik, he's not that far behind the leading farmers on Cloud9. Fried and tested. I mean, it is their first usage in 6.84, but to be fair, Michi Gaming, it's not like they're new to Drow Visage. They were running this all the time in, I think it was 6.82. A lot of Tiny Pio, a lot of Drow Visage right after TI4, and... Mm -hmm. It's something you're, you're probably not expecting at first two picks all the time because Vici have a Mironia, but they always have it up their seat. Yeah, I mean, it reminds me of Red Bull, fresh in my memory. First game, secret, throw Visage opener, and they won that game. I mean, Visage is very strong in this patch, no doubt about that. The Pugna feels like a really nice touch to this draft where they know with the Drow that they have a, a hero that can make hit any lane setup with the Pugna a lot stronger. He helps them push. Gives them a little team fight. Big Daddy in a lot of trouble. Snowball to try to get away, but the bear locks him in place, and Tusk. Wow. It's taken down. He's killing uh, Rubik plus summons. <laughs> <laughs> well, he to be fair, he's he got a bear and a is, couple of gargoyles. He truly yeah, is the Grand Magus right now. It's like commanding an army of summons to do his <laughs> bidding. This coddle still not quite level six. I mean, Cloud9, it, it seems like they have to resort to desperate measures right now. Rats. Brood can't push, carry, though. Back not step. versus this. Like, I, I already Brood think Brood can't carry. Lone yeah. Druid's completely shut down. Oh, nice. Guardian Grieve rush on the Pugna. Now, this is a different take on item builds here. I like Guardian. Well, we saw that Huskar Guardian Grieve game. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. That was brutal. I feel like it fits the build for Pugna, though. It gives you that ability to get out of some some roots and what have you with the purge. He's also really mana intensive, mm -hmm. so the... You get the free mech. Yeah. I mean, maybe it, it spells mana leak, right? That's pretty good. Mana leak is good. Mm -hmm. FY, another Nobody solar assist. there. But the gust slows things down. Envy in a lot of trouble. Snowball gets him inside, but now the snowball is forced forward. It's gonna put Envy in the danger zone too. Super takes a lot of damage with the soul assumption, brings down Envy, and now Big Daddy just trying to move through the trees. He's definitely going down here, no doubt about it. It just feels like this lone druid can't take the heat. It's too much damage. I don't see the synergy. I don't either. I mean, we were we were wondering what it was going to be, but I didn't expect it to be quite this it's, bad. It's just insane that they can reliably kill the bear, force Envy to resummon. So FY is like reliably stealing the bear as Rubik. That is. I mean, the way insane. the lanes worked out, having having a Drow and three range heroes versus Bear feels like the Bear is just useless. Well, did he, did he end lifted. up getting a stout on the Bear? N maybe, I'm sure. Not he, that Bear, the other Bear. Yeah, yeah the oh, Bear. Right. Never, Never mind. mind. He's got two Pelly Blades. You have to wait a minute there, Merlini. Pump the brakes. I mean, look how he, this is 14 minutes into the game, and they are sieging high ground easily. Cloud9, how did they defend this? They can. Well, they are not defending. One of the big buffs to the to the birds it can tank tower a lot longer. Yeah, and that barracks, that's it. 14 minute GG is called. Day one is over. Day one, actually the fastest day I think we've ever had at Beyond the Summit in general, not just <laughs> related to summits. At BG Gaming, through to the top four, they will face seed number two from Group B. Mm -hmm. Easiest series or day of Beachies. I mean, life. they wow. just steamrolled their way through Group A. They obliterated Raid.